welcome to Art with Patsy at the Art to Heart Studios. Today we're going to talk about transferring images right on to your canvas. So let's start with our image. You can draw your image on regular computer paper, just white, plain computer paper. It's what I usually use. You can draw your image right on there and that way you can erase and correct and do anything that you need to do on the paper. You can also draw on tracing paper which later on in the process you'll see tracing paper can be easier to use in transferring your, um, your subject onto your canvas because you can see through the transfer paper. But for either one will work perfectly fine. For today we're going to use a pencil drawing that I did of a koi fish on just regular old computer paper. So now we need to get that image ready to be transferred right onto our canvas so that we don't have to redraw our sweet little koi. So let's start out by laying a piece of plain white paper and then the koi fish drawing upside down on the white paper. That way we can see through the paper. So we're going to use just a black charcoal pencil so that it will show up really nicely on our white canvas. So what you're going to do is you're just going to trace around your koi fish. And by using that white paper underneath your paper, you will be able to see your pencil lines. Now let's speed this process up so that we can get this drawing done. You can use a light box if you need to, or you can set your picture up in the window and um, you know just trace right there on the glass and use that as your light box. Use the sun as your light box. So now we have our core fish all drawn and ready to go. Now, we want to face it down on the canvas with a charcoal pencil side down facing the canvas. Okay? Charcoal pencil side on the canvas. Then we're going to use a tool. You can use a little stylus kind of tool that um, is my favorite. I've had it since college. I love it. You can also use a little pinpoint stylus that um, I believe is kind of like a pottery tool. You can use the tip or the end of a, um, I don't know, a sharpie marker or anything around it. You can also just use a pencil and if you're going to flip your image over and do a double transfer then you can use a pencil and you can do that transfer easy. So you're just going to go around your drawing with the stylus tool of your choice, whatever it is, and you'll just work your way around the drawing and it will transfer magically right onto the canvas. And that's the advantage of using that charcoal pencil. You get a really, really nice um, clean line there when you use that charcoal pencil. So you just work your way on around your fish or whatever your object is and you keep checking but make sure you don't shift your paper any because if you shift your paper it's not going to work. So here I'm using the stylus tool to show you that you can use that to get a um, even, even crisper line whenever you use that little stylus tool but you have to stay on the lines of the stylus tool. Um, the other one you can just kind of rub it and you can just get that image to transfer. So I'm working my way around with the stylus tool so that you can see. Um, you can also use a piece of tape to keep your paper in place if you feel like you're shifting it. Now I want to put one across the top. So I'm going to take my image and I'm going to lay it again charcoal side down. This is where you could flip it if you had drawn it in charcoal on the, um, on the front side of it. So charcoal side down on the canvas and place it where I want it and hold that image there really nice and tight magic. It's done. So now I have my swimming koi fish. You, if you want to transfer your koi fish onto a colored canvas um, using the charcoal, black charcoal, may not show up very well. So um, you know we want to use something that will make it show up a little bit better. So we're going to put the white paper underneath it just like we did before. And we're going to use the white charcoal pencil. And we're just going to do the same process. Just go ahead and outline that koi fish by using, you know, your white box or using the white paper underneath or holding it in the window. So, magic! Let's go fast here and get this done a little quicker. This method works really, really well when you have spent a lot of time coming up with a drawing and you want to be able to move it around and see how it looks on your canvas before you actually draw it on the canvas and it gives you a visual. So I really, really like in the studio, in the teaching studio, to have the students do it this way because it, it just saves a lot of time and it helps them to visually see where the best place for that image is on their canvas. 
All right, guys, so we have learned how to transfer our image right there on our canvas. So we are ready to rock and roll and get this painting done. So thank you so much for joining me today and watching this little demo of transferring your image onto canvas.